Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to crochet this snowman pillow. For this project I am using worsted weight acrylic yarn in white, black, and red, but you can use whatever color you want for the scarf. Also a 14 inch by 14 inch pillow form which I linked down below, a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and scissors. To begin, we are going to use our white yarn and go ahead and chain up 44 chains. Once you have your 44 chains, we are going to start into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet. In the next chain, we are going to make a single crochet. And we're just going to continue to alternate double and single crochet. So in the next chain, we'll do a double crochet. In the next, a single crochet. In the next, a double. And then in the next, a single. So go ahead and keep alternating double crochets and single crochets all the way down your chain. In the very last chain, you should end up with a single crochet. Once we are at the end, here I have my single crochet in that very last chain. We're gonna chain up two to start the next row. And then in that very first space here, we are going to start with a double crochet. In the next, a single crochet. And then we will be doing the same thing in the first row where we're alternating the double and single crochet. So in the next stitch, we will make a double crochet and then in the next, a single crochet. And we are double crocheting on top of the single crochets from the previous row. And then always single crocheting on top of the double crochets from the previous row. So we're just gonna alternate double and single crochets all the way across until we get to the end. And again, we should end with a single crochet in the very last stitch. And we are going to repeat this row until we have a total of 22 rows. So here I have 22 rows done. This is what it should be looking like. And then I just clipped my yarn. I didn't fasten off. I still have a loop here because I will be adding a different color to start the scarf. So here I'm going to add red for a red scarf. You can use whatever color you want your scarf to be. So I'm going to loop my red through and then pull my white yarn tight. And then I'm just gonna do a simple knot with the tails. Chain one, and I'm just going to crochet over these ends so that I won't have to deal with them later. For the next five rows, we are just going to do half double crochets all the way across for the scarf portion. So in each stitch, we are doing a half double crochet all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just one half double crochet all the way across, all the way to the very end. And then each row that I start, I'm just gonna start with a chain one. So five rows, half double crochets. Okay, so here I just finished five rows of half double crochet. I snipped off the red so I can add back my white yarn. And again, I'm just gonna tie the tails together. chain two to start my next row and we're just going to go back to how we were doing the white part of the body so alternating double and single crochets 
and I am just going to crochet right over these tails. So in that very first space, a double crochet, and then in the next, a single crochet, just like we were doing previously on this white portion. So go ahead and do that all the way across for a total of seven rows. Once you have your panel done, it will look like this. And go ahead and make a second panel uh, the same exact way. You might notice in my written pattern, I have the front panel like this, and then the back panel is just solid white. You can also do that if you want to, just omit this scarf section. So you would just do 34 rows of white if you just want a solid back with the alternating double and single crochets. Next, we're gonna work on the buttons and also the little scarf pieces. For the buttons, I did use black yarn, but for tutorial purposes, I am going to use a different color just so you can see what I'm doing. So to start, we are just going to make a magic ring. Chain up one. And then in the ring, we are going to make 10 single crochets. Once you have all of your 10 single crochets, go ahead and pull the tail end tight to close up the circle and then join to the very first stitch. For round two, we're gonna chain up one and make two single crochets in each stitch around. So the first round will have 10 single crochets and then the second round should have 20 single crochets. Once you get to the end, go ahead and join to that very first single crochet Fasten off and leave a tail so you can sew the buttons onto the panel. So you'll want two buttons. And again, I did make two black buttons for my pillow, but for tutorial purposes, uh, this color is much easier to see than the black. So after you make your buttons, we will work on the scarf pieces. For the scarf, I am using red. So we are going to start with a slip knot and chain eight. Working into the second chain from the hook, we will make a half double crochet. And we are just going to half double crochet in each of the chains across. And once we get to the end, we should have seven half double crochets total. So there's our first row, chain one, turn our work, and we're just going to half double crochet all the way across again. And we're going to continue to make these rows until we have a total of 14 rows. Once you have your 14 rows done, it should be looking something like this. And then you can fasten off and leave a tail for sewing onto the front panel. So you want to make two of these scarf pieces just like this and then leave your tails for sewing. And then we are going to add fringe to the bottom of these pieces. So to add fringe, you just want to cut little pieces of yarn. This is about six inches long and this will probably be actually a little bit um, longer than I'd want it. I only want it to hang about this much over but you take your piece of yarn and you fold it in half and then you take your scarf piece and then on the bottom edge here you will stick your crochet hook into the bottom stitches so here's that corner stitch 
and then grab the loop, pull it through about halfway, and then you could do this with the hook or your fingers, but go through the loop here and then pull through these tail ends and then tighten it just like that and it adds a fringe and you just want to do that in each stitch all the way across. This is pretty long. Uh, you can make it whatever length you want, but I will probably cut it um, to about here so it's not too long. So here I've added my fringe and then I just trim them as evenly as I could. And then next we are just going to sew on our pieces. So I like to sew my buttons on first, just so I know they're centered. So I have one here and then one here. And then I will sew my scarf pieces over here to the side. I'll do it right where uh, the red matches the white, one going straight down. And then my other one, I will do um, a little bit diagonal, but I actually put that one underneath. So like this, and that looks good to me. So I'm just gonna use a running stitch. Uh, when I sew these on, I'll show you with the buttons. So this first button looks good here. So I'll hold it in place and I'll literally just take my tapestry needle. Um, I threaded my yarn tail and I'll go through the button, through the back of the fabric. And then I will come back up. through the fabric and then through the button. And I will continue to do that all the way around. Same with the next button. And then also uh, for this, I will also do the same running stitch and I'm just going through these top stitches here when I sew them on. Here I have my buttons and my scarf pieces sewed on. And then the back, uh, you don't really have to worry about because that's going to be the inside of the pillow. And then here is my second piece, which is the back piece. And we are going to crochet them together. So I like to start at the bottom right and we are just going to use white yarn and single crochet the panels together. So here I'm going to find the very corner and get my hook into both panels. I'm going to attach my yarn. I'm just going to pull it through and chain one to secure it. And in every corner, we are going to do three single crochets. So on this first corner, I'm going to make three single crochets. And then I'm just going to start single crocheting them together as evenly as possible. You'll see these little ridges uh, from the stitch that we used. So I'm just going to make sure that they are lined up evenly and just start to single crochet my panels together. After every few stitches, you can look back just to see how it's looking. You don't want too many stitches or too few stitches. So you can see it looks pretty even there. If you have too many, it will curl up like this. And if you don't have enough, then you can really see it um, pulling. And if that's the case, just go ahead and take out a few stitches and start over. So I'm just going to continue to single crochet all the way around. When you get to the scarf part, you can change colors and then do red stitches here just to match the scarf. I'm all about making it easy, so I'm just doing white all the way around. 
and then just remember to do your three single crochets in each corner once you have three sides done don't forget to stick your pillow form inside before completing the last side and then once you get all the way around all you have to do is join to the first stitch fasten off and then weave in that end i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new today and if you enjoy crochet tutorials be sure to subscribe to my channel